Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with the web API. Our viewer is facing an error titled an undeclared property while trying to create a custom activity entity using HTML and JavaScript. Let's break down the situation. Our viewer is attempting to create a record by sending parameters to a specific URL. However, despite using the correct headers and even trying different GUIs, they keep receiving a 400 bad request error. The message indicates an undeclared property issue, which can be quite perplexing. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the error message you're encountering. The error states that there is an undeclared property RobFAGEED. This means that the property is not recognized in the context of your request. In your params object, you are using robefaked at odata.bind. This syntax is correct for binding to a related entity, but you need to ensure that robfaked is a valid navigation property in your custom entity definition. Next, confirm that the GUID you are using in the binding is valid and corresponds to an existing record in the robfx entity. If the GUID is invalid, it could lead to similar errors. Additionally, ensure that your custom entity, Rob Quick Actions, is properly configured to accept the parameters you are sending. Review the entity's metadata to confirm that all required fields are included. Finally, if everything seems correct, try testing the API call using a tool like Postman. This can help isolate whether the issue is in your JavaScript code or with the API itself. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When creating records via Web API, you might encounter an undeclared property issue. In some cases, you need to use a specific format for the property names. This format is particularly important when dealing with relationships that can point to multiple entity types. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye.